Hey guys, um, don't know what I'm going to have as a title on this one yet, but um, I'll maybe watch it before I upload it and decide then. Um, hopefully I'm loud enough. I think this phone's a bit louder than the tablet is. I've had a good day. I've had a busy, tiring day, but I've had a good day. I've managed to secure a bit of income. Um, so I'm back where I was before Corona started. Um, possibly even better. We'll see. Time will tell. Don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but. Um, yeah, I've got um, a couple of friends now helping me out with a bit of cash work here and there. And um, I just do a little bit every day or do a big bit every other day. I'll supplement things to the point where I can continue my build, which will bring me towards happiness. Um, Something, something happened today that, apart from all that, that did bring me happiness and quite excited about it actually. My favourite radio station, 2 Triple M in Sydney, which I've listened to since I was um, a teenager. I'm 44 this year. Sorry, 54 this year. Stole 10 years. Um, but yeah, my favourite radio station, 2 Triple M in Sydney, 104.9 on your FM dial. Um, great rock station, um, they've played the same sort of music since I was a kid, so I guess they're old fogies music now, right? But anyway, I still love them, they play good music, um, and, um, I had a bit of an issue with, um, this phone I'm holding right now, um, bought it brand new for a hundred bucks, I don't really spend much more than that on a phone. And um, Triple M have, um, well obviously I'm nowhere near Sydney, so I can't get Triple M on the radio. I have to get them through the internet. And um, I downloaded the Triple M app and I've been doing that on every phone and every device I have so that I can play Triple M whenever I like. And um, yeah, this new one, not compatible with this device. The, the well, sorry, I'll rewind. So they've got a new app. It's called Listener. L-I-S-T-N-R. And, um, yeah, download that app if you like, if you want to check out a good radio station. Triple M and lots of other things like podcasts and stuff. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're shutting down the Triple M app by the looks of things and pushing everyone over to the Listener app. And I couldn't download it on this device, which is brand new really frustrating also i couldn't do it on my tablet which is just there um and um and the tablet's only a year or so old it's not quite, not very old at all i think it's less than a year old maybe anyway um brand new cheap phone can't do it tablet that's reasonably up to date can't do it it needs the latest phone, basically, this listener app, by the looks of it, which was a, well, I don't know, um, or maybe an iPhone, or I don't know, I'm, I'm not good with tech. <laughs> All I knew the, that I couldn't download it on either device, and I thought, holy hell, what's going to happen here? I'm going to end up with no radio station, and I'm going to have to go hunting for something else, um, maybe even support my local radio station. No, look, I, I like Triple M. I like Nim FM, don't get me wrong. Um, but, um, yeah, I just, I'm really dedicated to my one and only radio station that I've had since I was a kid, Triple M. Anyway, I um, I got frustrated and, and rang them up, I rang the office in Sydney and had a little whinge in a moan. And, um,. The um, receptionist was very lovely. I thought she was just, to be honest, I got her wrong. I, 
if she happens to be watching, forgive me. I thought you were filing your nails and going, yes, yes, okay. You know, and anyway, so she took my number and said, look, um, no guarantees that they'll get back to you, but I've taken your name and, and your complaint down. And, um, and I thought, well, that was it. Sooner or later, the station's going to stop the Triple M app and I'm going to have no more Triple M. Um, week and a half go by, and uh, this is before Christmas still. And um, I get a phone call, and it's, um, well, it's a missed call, and I called it back, and it's um, a guy from the Triple M team. And he said, um, cut a long story short, he'd spoken to the receptionist, and they'd worked out the team and himself um, had decided that they were going to buy me a new phone for Christmas um, so that I can have the app and I thought you know I was almost in tears because I you know good stuff like that never happens to me and I still thought oh maybe they're just saying stuff to butter me up and they won't they won't ever send me a phone you know I've heard of things like that happening to people too but today a brand new Samsung Galaxy phone um, something about my mental illness the first thing I did was think what's that worth not that I'm going to sell it I'm going to use it get rid of this stupid thing I'm holding in my hand right now but yeah so I googled it and they're like a thousand dollar phone <laughs> I was shocked so Triple M you've outdone yourself thank you if any if any of you guys are watching you're awesome you're keeping me by this um yeah I'm a bit emotional about it actually but um really happy about that hasn't it's not enough to bring me out of my depression, but um, I'm really happy about it. Um, but between that and the work, um, I'll be able to start getting my uploads happening more regular on YouTube, uh, on my other channel as well, my Cybertruck channel, which is the one that I really want to be putting uploads on. I want, to, I want people to see the progress on that, and there's been no progress for a few months now because of COVID. But yeah, now finance is seem a bit better. Um, I'm ordering some steel tomorrow. I'll do a separate upload for that channel and they can hear the, the news without me carrying on about my phone and all the rest of it. Um, we're not carrying on about the phone. Look, once again, Triple M, great stuff. I haven't even opened this yet. I'm not setting it up tonight. I'm too tired. It's like past half past 10 now. And, um, yeah, I've had it. I've had a big day. I've got another big day planned for tomorrow. So this will look like tomorrow night I'll be setting it up. And I might need to call in at a friend's place to help me do it because I'm not even good with that. But, yeah, so... Sorry, just let the dog in the doggy door. You knock, you can come in. Come on. Good boy. Um, yeah, so, um... I'm pleased about having some income secured and um, what will make me happy is when I get my build finished so the quicker the income comes the quicker I can get the build finished um, I eventually expect that this channel will grow to the point where I've got a little bit of income maybe with some merchandise or something like that um, it may even just grow once people see that the Cybertruck thing is... A, not this channel, sorry. Um, my Cybertruck channel. So I think I've only got 19 subscribers on it. But um, I'm pretty sure once, um, once people start seeing the final build happening, um, there's a good chance that the channel might get some really good views and some good subscriber numbers at the same time. So it may take off a little. I've been watching other things where people do stuff on Cybertruck and they get lots of views. You can build yourself a cardboard Cybertruck out of boxes and it could look dodgy as fuck. But you put Cybertruck in the, in the title, 
you know, home-built Cybertruck or something, and people will watch it. <laughs> um, don't do that, buddy. Sorry. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm rambling on a bit. Um, once I've got the Cybertruck finished, then um, I can really see that my my happiness will start to come back to me. Um, I haven't been happy for years, guys, but um, I get to the point where I'm okay with things and I'm okay with my crap and um, I can actually smile and people think I'm happy but um, I want to be at that point more I'm trying hard lately to do that and I've even got a friend, a close friend to me saying no you're really happy lately I've noticed <sighs> and I say you're seeing the act and yeah they won't hear it they just see that I'm happy um, because I am trying hard to look happy because I know it's the only thing that's helped me out in the past. People can't bring me out of this um, as much as I want them to. I'm the thing that can bring me out of this. And I have to focus and I have to fake it till I make it. I have to um, open my eyes more on Bitstone. Sorry guys, I've had a big day. Bitstone as well. But... Um, yeah, I have to fake it till I make it with the happiness. Um, I have to pretend to be happy. I have to walk around, crack jokes, pretend to smile, be friendly to people, um, be a laugh on Facebook, whatever. You know, all this adds up and, and people start feeding my happiness back to me and that's when I actually become a bit happier. Um, so it takes a lot of me appearing to be happy before I am happy, if you get what I'm saying. Um, anyway, I just want to let you know that i um, probably not going to top myself anytime soon, which is a good thing. Um, when you look at how I was a month or so ago, I, um, I don't think I would have, but um, gee, I felt like it. Uh, I was constantly looking for reasons not to um, and yeah it's a dark topic I know and lots of people don't want to talk about it and don't want to hear about it and everyone's got their own problems right but um, yeah um, I just feel that if I talk about it you know I'm in that age bracket 8 out of 10 men um, 8 out of 10 are men but um in their lives prematurely so you know if I can give people tools that'll that I use myself I'm still here right <laughs> so while I'm still here my tools are working and while my tools are working I don't mind sharing them um, and hopefully you guys can pick up some of my tools and maybe you can fake it till you make it and maybe you can look at things in a more positive light and maybe you can say stuff them I don't need them because they're not there for me anyway so whoever they are it's me that I need so I just need to be strong for me I need to focus on moving forward I need to get my project built <coughs> I need to um, keep busy and um, yeah and this project is hopefully going to be um, on the road. Hopefully, I have my cyber truck built and on the road before we start seeing any in Australia and before they become a thing on the road in America as well. I mean, I know you might see a couple of prototypes and videos in America, but yeah, I'm not talking about that. Um, I'm talking about them being mainstream. Anyway. This dog's distracting me. What are you doing, Chewy? Check him out, he's so cute. Well, now you lay down and I'll put the camera on you. You good boy? You are a good boy. There's my little Pomeranian. Look at no idea how small he is. When I put my hand there, I don't have big hands, guys. So he is really tiny. 
Where's his head gone? It's completely gone by my hand. Anyway, um, once again, triple on. Nah. Thanks, guys. Honestly, you've made my day. And um, it's it's a thousand dollar phone. Um, no one's bought me a thousand dollar present in my life. I've never won anything worth a thousand dollars. I've never. Yeah, this is really mind blowing, guys. So I'm pleased with this, and very soon I think the video quality is going to be improving. <laughs> thanks to this. Um, I've already got a tripod that I can use for it. Um, this thing's got heaps of memory. 128 gig, the stupid thing in my hand. I've got to keep deleting videos before I can make a new one. <coughs> also, with the plenty of memory, I'll be able to download a decent, um, I don't know which one yet, but a decent um, editing program. Some, and get someone to teach me how to use it and then we can have edited videos. How cool will that be? Not seeing all this shit in one take. Me just dribbling on and on and on and on. Yeah, I, cut out, I can cut out all the boring bits and put just a... This could have been a five minute video, guys. <laughs> no, look, seriously. Um, if um, depression had a score or happiness had a score 50 is normal, um, 100 is super happy, and 0 is where you top yourself. I probably got down to about 10 or below before Christmas, probably maybe even 5. I don't think I was going to top myself, but gee, I was, oh, I'd spent hours just numb, and then I'd cry, and then I'd be numb again, and, and you know, and not sleeping as well, like insomnia cripples me. It's still not any good lately. This new mattress is helping, but anyway. Um, another thing that's helping is the dog that passed required me to wake up several times during the night to let him out for a toilet break. And, um, because he wouldn't pee inside, which is great. But yeah, these other dogs, they rarely get up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet. And, um, and even if they do get up and I'm asleep, they can push the doggy door open with their nose. He couldn't work out where the doggy door was. Because um, of his cataracts in his eyes, he was so blind. But I had to put him down. And um, it was sad and it was hard and it's still hard. But um, one good thing that's come of it is I don't have to worry about it having to get up ever, you know, several times during the night. I don't have to be like sleeping that little bit lighter either because I'd be worried. I'd be like, oh, don't go to sleep too hard in case he wants to go up because he hasn't gone to the toilet for a couple of hours and maybe he wants to go to the, go to the pee and, you know, a couple of times he's peed on my leg and, you know, because he couldn't work out how to get out the door and I wouldn't break up. And he couldn't work out how to wake me, and he's had times where he'd bark at me to open the door, but yeah, I think sometimes he was too scared to, and sometimes the dogs, the other dogs would be sleeping in his path, and so he wouldn't know where to go, and so he'd just like head back to his bed, and then head back towards them, and head back to his bed, and then like, bugger it, I'm busting, I'll go, and just goes wherever. But um, yeah, so he had a couple of accidents inside, peed on me a couple of times, peed on his bed a couple of times, but didn't really pee on the, my bed, which was good. Um, <coughs> but yeah, now that I I can sleep a bit better, um, that's helping. And um, now that i got some money secured with work, um, well, it's not brilliant, we're not talking thousands of dollars or hundreds even but we're, we're talking a little bit of cash here and there just to supplement things and um, if I'm careful with it I can use that cash I don't have any major hobby hobbies or habits that are going to burn up my cash and I don't have expenses to blow it on either very low maintenance um, so 
most of my cash I can channel into my project but when most of my cash isn't enough um, I've got to use it to get by and um, and there's been times where I've had a little bit of cash and I think oh, I'll get a pizza or I'll do something for myself because you know I could do this and then be broke for the rest you know like till I've got some more money or I could just spend this little bit and enjoy, enjoy it because I've got a bit extra cash and so that'll put my project off because I wouldn't be ordering things but yeah tomorrow I'm going to be ordering some steel um, I've got a few things to do tomorrow but I'm I'm definitely going to try and make some time to order some steel tomorrow so it'll come in the next couple of days or so <sighs> hopefully before Friday and um and hopefully by then my mate Maddie's up here from down um, Victoria and um, I'll, I'll start on the project um, I'll get this phone going we may be able to edit footage and yeah things are looking up so yeah um, we turn around I've been prattling on and look anyone that's made it this far in this video um, can you say Chewy, as in Chewbacca, this little guy? Can you just say his name in the comments? Because I'd really love to know if anyone's read, watched this to the end. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, say Chewy. Peace out, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye.